I grew up in Japan, in Chiba Prefecture, which is famous for pear and also peanut. I was a kid with many interests. At that time, I really wanted to be astronaut. At the age of 10 or 11, I really would like to be a reporter or a caster or a writer, which is now sitting <laughs> behind <laughs> of the cameras. Actually, that's a true story. When I was three years old, I played with my friend at a park and she suddenly started to imitating playing with the violin and like, so, like this. I don't know why, but as a normal reaction of kid, I was envious of her and interested in to do this. Although I, I didn't know anything about the violin, I haven't heard the violin sound yet at that time. My parents are not musician. Is this bi violin or what, what is that? So my parents asked her parents, then they noticed that it is the violin. That's how I started the violin. When I turned to 15 years old, I participated to the small international competition which was held in Italy and I get second prize at that competition. At that time I started to think I should work hard to be a real violinist. <laughs> I felt that one day I really would like to live in Europe and then study or playing in front of the audience in Europe. Firstly, I, I love this small, beautiful, lovely town. I often go to Victoria Park for walking or for just taking some rest. I really like the, this atmosphere. I really feel homesick, but I, of course, Sometimes miss my parents or miss my friends in Japan, or especially I miss the food in Japan or sake in Japan. I like Japanese sake, which is of course our culture as well, and also Japanese shochu, which is the liquor made by sweet potato or made by other ingredients. Three words to describe me might be sensitive or emotional and thoughtful. Mm -hmm.